Oh, it's Bobby Crispy from Toronto, Canada. This guitar lesson is part two of two videos on how to play Hell's Bells by ACDC. So in this video I'll cover riffs number four and five. But to go back to number one, I forgot to mention in the first video, uh, you play the opening riff, number one, you play it six times, but on the sixth time around, you play uh, a G chord, then a D chord, D chord, to go from riff no number one to riff number two. So it's played like this. Right, so that's a G, D chord in between riffs number one and two after playing the first riff, number one, six times. Okay, so riff number four is played like this. Okay, so you play the top string, open. power chord here, that's the 5th string, 7th fret, and the ninth string, I mean the ninth fret on the 4th string, like that. Slide it down 2 frets to the D position, the 5th fret, then back up to the E position, 7th fret. So you Play it open again, like that. But you don't strum it when you're here. You just strum it once here. That's it. So it's played like that. Then let's do a D chord, A chord. string open again, and play the same power chord progression as the first time. Then it's open two strings, then a G chord. So once again, riff number four, slowly. Riff number five, the car chords played over the solo, and it's uh, just an A power chord. It starts off with an A power chord, so that's uh, fifth string open. I play the two middle strings, on the second fret like that, and you play that for about uh, four bars, four measures. So it's. A power chord again, play it like that. Play the sixth string, third fret, then back to the A power chord again. Then a C power chord, the third string position, uh, a third fret, fifth string, D, two frets up. Once again, that's played at the regular speed, it's like Okay. Those are the five riffs. Now at the end 
of the song goes back to riff number one, but it's played like this. So it's the same as riff one number at the beginning, but uh, it's filled in with a C power chord and a D power chord. C power chord, D power chord, and then the ending is from riff number five, the end of riff number five. So. thrown in, C power chord, D power chord. It's played four times, and the song ends with just an A power chord, like that, open string, fifth fret.